Hey everybody, and this is going to be a very quick tutorial, similar to if you see my Steam tutorial on um, Android and Unity. Um, I won't be, you know, doing like modeling or anything like that. This is how to install it, because I know a lot of people have been have been having trouble installing it, and I've been having trouble installing it for the past, you know, three months or so. Um, I got the Unity. Um, I run Unity 3.5, and they were having a giveaway of Android and iOS, so I got them both, and I installed it. It worked perfectly. I haven't messed with it in a very long time. Suddenly, I started messing with it. It works fine until just recently when it said something to the fact of, "Sorry, we cannot find the Unity, uh, no, sorry, UD, uh, not UDK, uh, SDK file." So I mean, you go to preferences. You and this is what other tutorials said. They go to preferences. You go to external tools and Android SDK location, uh, and you would go into your computer Android and say, "There it is. There it is. There it is." And it still wouldn't find it. Here's a way around it. When you install your Android um, SDK, install it on the desktop. What I mean by that is actually install it, like create a folder called Android and then install it. Just, you know, tell it to go into the folder called Android that you set, that you built on your desktop and all of it will go into there. It will say select folder and I already said that and then I'll just say build settings. Now I'm just doing a test demo right here this scene of a, a, a simple menu that I'm doing for a quick idea. I s already set it to Android. Don't overwrite uh, anything. It's set for uh, Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. I'm going to say build. I'm going to say build. I'm going to overwrite this file. I'm going to click save. Yes, I want to replace it. Compiling scripts. Normally people get around the get to the part that says uh, searching for a SDK. And then it just says, can I find SDK? Please show me where it is. And people would show it and it still wouldn't find it. I don't know. Usually they have a problem with the C drive. Never install it in your C drive. Uh, install it if you have sub drives and you can install it in there. But I don't have sub drives. So I installed it on my desktop. Trying to locate the Android SDK installation folder. And it should take a while. And, okay, right there. I just passed it. It said, okay. Found it good. So uh, if you don't have multiple drives or anything like that, you don't want to go that complicated. Install it on the desktop. Build a folder. Uh, set everything there, and say. And then when you go to preferences, just say here's the folder, and it should say a okay. If you got any questions, just email me because I I've gone almost over every single way. Seriously. So if you got any questions, just please uh, message me, and I'll get to you. Um, because I'm going to be messing with Android for like this year, next year, and the year after that. So, okay. It just finished it. Menu's done. And then I'm going to now put it on my Android device. Oops. One moment. So, we're going to go to card. I'm going to install it on my card. Uh, the um, 8, gig, 8 gig card. We're going to drop it in there. And then we're going to go to card, and there it is. And in a little bit, a little bit, I'll be showing you a video of me pulling up and installing the game. So basically, when you install it, and it tells you where do you want Android to go, you're going to say go to uh, go to desktop, search for Android file file that you built before installing it. Tell it to go into the Android file. File it will install onto that. You go to then edit. Um, you go to preferences. You go to external tools. You click on a little button that says next to Android SDK location. You click on it. You tell it where it is, um, and then then you just restart Unity. Uh, you uh, first of all you say okay, you exit off, you bring it back up, you click your build settings. Make sure that it's set. Um, everything's you know it has to re-import everything for Android. You can't just you know switch over it in 20 seconds. It's got to re-import everything, reconfigure it, reconfigure it for Android, and then you do a test, and it should work after that. 
So as you can see, I have my and I have my Unity and Android file all in the same thing. Sorry for the huge mess, but I have it up there. And um, yeah, I hope this video helps. If you have any problems, please message me, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bye, guys. Hey guys, and this is what happens when you, uh, well, when you install it. Let me show you how you install it. Uh, so we're going to go to my files. There's the APK. We're going to say yes, overwrite it. Install. It's just going to install it, and then we're going to say open. Powered by Android. And then in a few seconds, here we go. It says play options, load, exit. Uh, is a little simple menu. And then I'm going to have a ship hovering around in the background. Oh, no, I don't want to power off. Uh, what you do need to have, though, is go to your settings. Go to de developer options. Have debug, USB debug enabled. Uh, so it's it's a check mark, and then I think that's it. Um, application manager, and then you, yeah, you can just uninstall. Uninstall. Yes. Say okay, and there you go. So hope it, I hope that helped, guys.